Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to unlock the Verizon Galaxy Note 3 bootloader using your laptop or PC. I'm running Windows 10 64-bit, um, so let's get to it. Uh, and a couple things to note that I've already unlocked this bootloader on the computer here once before, so I flashed the OF1 firmware using Odin so that I can show you using a fresh um, firmware flash uh, of what it would look like um, if your bootloader wasn't unlocked. I think it's only going to show you um, once on how to do the um, actual bootloader unlock. The first time it changes your CID and then the second time you run the unlock it does the actual bootloader unlock. So you're gonna have to run it twice. Once to change your CID and once to do the actual unlock. In between those two you're gonna have to unplug your USB cable and pull the battery and then put the battery back in and reboot your phone. And then plug the USB cable back in again and run the commands again. It takes two times with a battery pull and USB unplug for the unlock to work. So don't scratch your head after one time wondering why it's not unlocked. You have to do it twice. Pull the battery and pull the USB cable and then reboot the phone after putting the battery back in and plug the USB cable back in and do the commands again. I can't stress that enough. Okay, so tools you're going to need are the Samsung USB drivers, which I will include a link to. You're also going to need minimal ADB fast boot, um, which I'm going to include a link to as well. This is just so you don't have to download all the Android source code. All you need to do is install this for ADB since that's what you need to unlock your bootloader. As you can see right now I'm installing it. Um, it's going to install to program files x86, minimal ADB, and fast boot. That's okay. You want to click on create a desktop icon just for to make it easy, especially if you're new to this. So install. There we go. We're going to say launch it. That's fine. We're going to minimize this window, and then um, when you download the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Unlock, you're going to open a zip file, and it's going to have this file in it, Samsung Unlock underscore Note 3 or N3. That's the file that you use in ADB. So we're going to right click on it, we're going to copy it. Then we're going to go to our file manager. We're going to open it up and we're going to go to local C disk or local disk C program files x86. We're going to go to minimal ADB and fast boot, which is where we installed that. We're going to right click and we're going to paste. And you just click continue. So now this file is in here. It needs to be in this folder to work. No ifs, ands, or buts. You can exit out of this uh, file manager now. Um, now we're going to open the window here. And this is the official, oops, the official unlock thread, which I will also post a link to. Um, and it has all of the directions that you need. So, the first one that we're going to do, after you connect your um, phone to your computer, um, is we're going to highlight these. Don't, I wouldn't, you know, personally type them in uh, using a keyboard because you don't want to miss something. It's just easier to copy and paste. So, copy that. And then the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to do ADB devices to make sure our phone is connected. Right. 
Oops, that's good. See, it looks how look how easy that was. I forgot to add an F, and it gave me all that. So now you just do ADB devices, and it says right here, list of devices attached. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna go back here. We're gonna right click. We're gonna copy this. And then we're gonna right click into the window here, or left click, and then you're gonna want to right click. It's gonna paste it into there, hit enter, right here, this is what you want to see, mine was 732 kilobits a second, you know, in whatever bytes, in point three zero or, you know, whatever, the point of the matter is, is that it, it worked, um, so now, you want to do ADB shell, Copy that. Hit enter. Then you're gonna you can type in SU. It's only two letters, so super user. That's what it stands for, SU. So type in SU, hit enter. Then you're gonna go to your smartphone and super user will ask you for ADB shell super user request and hit grant now you can see down here that we are root so then we're going to go back up here we're going to select this next command go back here we're going to right click to uh, paste it in there, hit enter, and then we're going to copy this one and paste that in there. Okay, now we're going to do the next one here. Oops. Copy that one, hit enter, copy that one. Now, like I said, after I hit enter here, it's going to load a dialog and it's going to uh, change your CID. If you've never done this before, which I'm guessing you haven't, um, for you, it's going to change your CID first, and then it's going to power down your phone. And then you're going to pull the USB cable out of the phone and pull the battery out of the phone, and then put the battery back in Turn it on so that it boots to the Verizon stock ROM. And then after it's booted, plug the USB cord back in again. Okay, so here I go. I'm going to type in yes. DID, DID at boot time is or was what it's going to be already. So this is the one that's going to change it to for you. So it says dev CID matching, and it's going to proceed to the unlock. Backing up loaders, this will take a few seconds or a few minutes, loader successfully backed up, success, powering off device, hopefully it's not break. Um, so, my phone just shut off, I'm going to unplug the cable and pull the battery, then you're going to hold volume well, this is after the second time. You're going to hold volume down, home, and power to verify that you are a developer. Like I said, I only had to do this once because I've already done it before. You're going to have to do it twice. Then, after you're done with that, you're going to need 
to manually boot into download mode to check to make sure that it says mode developer. Um, in between, you're going to have to pull the battery and unplug the USB cable before you run it a second time. Alright, I hope this was helpful. I know I repeated myself a lot, but there's a lot of people getting confused in the thread. I have no idea why. I don't know if you can't read directions or what. This is what I made the video for. So, hopefully this helps everybody. Have a good one.